Hello everyone, my name is Andreas. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create and store a strong password. I'll begin by opening NetaCat website on my browser, then go to course index, lab index, and then select 3.1.1.5 lab create and store strong passwords. In this lab, we will explore the concepts to create strong passwords and how to store it securely. Clicking this link, and we'll see the lab guide in PDF format. I will open it here. The objective of this lab is to understand the concepts behind a strong password. All we need is a PC or mobile device with internet connection. This lab is divided into two main parts. Part 1 is about creating strong password. And part 2 is about store it securely. Let's go to part 1. Strong password have four main requirements as follows. 1. It can be remembered easily. 2. It's not easy for any other person to guess. 3. It's not easy for a program to guess or discover. 4. It must be complex, containing numbers, symbols, and a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters. Many organizations require passwords to contain a combination of numbers, symbols, and a lower and upper case letters. Passwords that conform to that policy are fine as long as they are easy to remember. So let's answer the following questions. Why does the policy set neglect the first two items? Because if it refers to the first point, a password that meets organizational requirements such as a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, of course it won't be easy to remember, so point one may be ignored. Then for the second point, this point is ignored too because usually people use the same password for any different surfaces. A good way to create strong passwords is to choose random words and string them together. The password television frog puts church is stronger than Jonathan Das 81. Even if the first password does not meet the policy requirements, it is much stronger than the second. Why? Because it is easier to remember, but it is also very long and its random factor makes it hard for password crackers to guess it. In this step, we will use a password generator tool to create passwords based on common password policy. First, click the following link to go to the password generator page. Next, select the option to customize the password policy. Set the password length to 8 minimal and generate the password then look at this password combination it seems difficult to remember so going back to the PDF is the password generated easy to remember the answer is no it is not this time we will use different generator tools. Let's go to this link. Generate a random password by clicking this button. Again. And again. We know that this tool uses the same pattern to generate passwords. The pattern is four random words string together four random letters combined so it's not that hard to remember compared to the previous step in this password generator it's not that hard back to the PDF is the password generated easy to remember then the answer is yes it is part to securely storing passwords. We will use LastPass password manager 
This is where all our passwords can be stored in one place, so if one day we forget, we can access it. First, click this link to go to the website page. For your information, before we can use LastPass, we have to install the extension in the web browser. But since I have made an unfree trial account before, Let's just take a look at what's in here. Let's explore. This is the main page of LastPass. Here is my account setting icon. And we can log out via this menu. On the left side, there are a sidebar that contains various menus and other settings. Next, I will try to create a password. Select this icon and select password. For example, I made a password for the Facebook account. And the password is Try studying at morning but with some combination So it may be hard to guess by other Click save Okay, let's get back to the guide After we explore LastPass password manager, there are some questions. The first question, as you add passwords to LastPass, where are the passwords stored? The passwords are stored in on the LastPass server, which can be accessed as long as we are online. Second question, beside you, at least one other entity has access to your passwords. Who is that entity? This one other entity is the LastPass itself. Why? Because considering that my account data is stored in its database. The third question, while having all your passwords stored on the same place can be convenient. There are drawbacks. Can you think of any? In fact, of course there are drawbacks to this online password manager apps. Remembering that our passwords are stored on internet servers. For example, one day the last pass is hacked. Automatically, our data will leak out even though it has been encrypted. And also the possibility that we forgot the master password to open the last pass account. Or even at worst case, our last pass account has been taken over by hackers. Then it's gone. There's nothing left. Finally, the part 3 is conclusion of what a strong password is. Below is a quick summary. 1. Choose a password you can remember. 2. Choose a password that someone else cannot associate with you. 3. Choose different passwords and never use the same password for different services. And the last, a complex passwords are ok as long as it does not become harder to remember. But if you use a password manager, then the needs to be easily remembered can be relaxed because no matter how difficult your password is, you'll still be able to access it when you forget. And that's all I can explain this time. Hopefully it's useful for all of us. Thank you.